We're going to get a look at those uh, real estate market stats for Stouffville today. Um, like some of my other videos, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at January 2021. We are going to contrast that with what happened the month prior and then also the year prior. So um, I appreciate your patience as I wear my ball cap today because my COVID hair is performing quite well and I was hoping not to share that with you. So moving on. Uh, so the number of sales in Stouffville across all home types in January 2020 was 31. Now, when I say all home types, that is everything, condos, semis, towns, links, detached, absolutely everything. Um, the month prior in December 2020, we were at uh, 64 total units sold. And January 2021, uh, starting the year off, 57 units sold in Stouffville. Average sale price across all home types averaged out was 988,000 a year ago in January. Um, in December 2020, we were at a million 15, and a million 226 was the average sale price across all home types in Stouffville in January 2021. Now, sales to new listings ratio is a great gauge of the market. Um, and what it tells us is, is out of the homes coming on the market each month, what is the percentage that are actually selling? Um, so sales to new listings ratio was 45.6% in January 2020. And December 2020, it was at 136. So I know you're probably thinking, how is that possible? You can sell more homes and are actually coming out. So what happens there is there are homes that are previously on the market that didn't sell from the month or months prior. And so when the current month's homes come out, they sell through, but it also starts to sell off some of the other inventory as well. So that's where you get that from. So that's a, a high buyer demand um, and low inventory scenario. And obviously at 130%, that is a, a full-on seller's market. Um, now we are starting to see inventory levels rise. And so for January 2021, 2021 uh, 55.8%. So back to a little bit more of a balanced market. And again, we're seeing that as inventory levels rise up. Um, months of inventory remaining. So this stat is also a good gauge of where the market's at, buyer's market, seller's market. So what it tells us is if no other inventory came on the market after today at the current rate of buying, how many months would it take to completely deplete the inventory? So a year ago in January, 3.8 months of inventory, 1.4 in December 2020. And again, you can sort of see where the inventory levels are starting to rise, which is where we're getting this number at 2.2 and 55.8. Sale price to list price ratio, 96.6 a year ago. So a little bit under asking, 99.4 in December. So real close to asking. 103% uh, is the trend for January 2020, or sorry, 21. And so houses selling over asking price. Days on market to get a home sold, uh, 42 in January 20. And in December 20, we were 34, and it reduced to an average of 28 days across all home types. Now, what does this mean for sellers right now? For sellers right now, uh, I wouldn't get too, uh, too bummed out or excited that you're going to miss the market. I mean, it's going to take a little bit as inventory levels rise to satisfy the demand. So I wouldn't say that uh, you have to be in an immediate hurry to get your home listed if you're, still, if you're still doing stuff, if that was your plan this year. I suspect you're probably going to see the market continue for another five or eight weeks. Um, and in the case of buyers, uh, what does this mean for you right now? Inventory levels are starting to rise, as you can see in the stats here. So that's a good thing for you. As inventory levels rise, buyers, what you are going to find is that should start to quiet the multiple offers and the bidding process, and it should uh, create a more uh, uh, natural flowing real estate transaction. I hope you found this helpful. If I can answer any questions uh, or help out in any way, just shoot me a DM.